Hi there. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about one sculpture of mine. Since it's going away, it's leaving my studio and it's going to a private collection. Before it does so, I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. The sculpture is here in my bag, so let me go and get it. So this is the work and it's basically a sphere with many nipples around it. As you can see, there are six nipples and it represents a woman's breast or perhaps a general idea of a woman's breast. It's also a modern or my way of uh, giving a contemporary interpretation of the ancient practice of votive sculpture. So in ancient times, if you were affected by a disease, if one of your body parts was affected by a disease, let's say you had uh, cancer or you had something on your foot or hand or arm or leg or even inside organs like lungs and livers and stomach, even sexual organs, people would often commission a sculptor and have them make a sculpture representing that diseased body part. And then they would go to the temple, to the church, and they would offer that sculpture, hoping that the gods would spare them of their own body parts. So let's say that you had a problem with your eyes, you would offer a sculpture representing eyes, and then hoping that the gods would be happy with those eyes, and they would leave you your own eyes to yourself. And of course, as in many cases, women often had breast cancer, and they would often have a sculptor make a breast and then gifting that to the temple. You have nowadays in archaeological museums very beautiful representations of breasts in ceramic, in marble, depending on how much budget you had. So this is my interpretation of that idea of votive sculptures, which are sometimes also called ex voto in the Christian culture. But it also speaks to me because it says something about the power relationships that we have with authorities or that authorities have with us. Not only gods, any authority whatsoever. It says about how the relationship functions, which is often based on the threat of punishment. So we are controlled by fear. This is why I have made a whole series about this theme. Also, on another note, this work has also been inspired by the story of the Amazons. So the Amazons were a mythical civilization of warrior women. They were feared in ancient times because they were very fierce warriors and they were specialized in handling a bow and arrow on horseback. And it is said that these women used to cut off their breasts so that they could handle more easily the bow and arrow without having a breast in the way. So when they would pull the arrow, they weren't hampered by the presence of a breast. And this is why it is said, it is believed that they used to chop off their breast. So this is also, of course, talking about the practice of sacrifice, the willingness to sacrifice something, in this case a breast, in order to survive to fight for your life. And of course, as you know, many uh, women who are affected by breast cancer often must amputate their breast in order to survive the disease. So there is a connection there as well. And now on a more lighthearted note, because these Amazons were also warriors, this work can also be seen as a weapon. You know, this medieval weapon that consisted of a metal ball with spikes and it was attached to a chain and it was often swung around and but it also looks like a mine a sea mine or a land mine so all this information is in here so this is a work that basically can be interpreted in many ways a more light-hearted one um, but of course there are also serious theme behind it the theme of the votive offering the power relationship the economy of exchange with authorities sacrifice so this is all in this little work. I'm going to miss it. It's one of my favorite pieces, but now it's going away. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time where I'll be talking about another work of mine. Bye.